All right, guys, welcome back to episode or part, sorry, number 10 of our Evo Land playthrough. I'm going to pick up from last time where we are on the final battle of the tactical RPG section. I'm going to kind of try and storm everybody and uh, storm the castle and take down the uh, professor. Now, we're going to try and um, beef up our forces slightly here. So we'll take on uh, a paladin here and we'll just take on a new recruit as well and a new archer just had a sort of like a bit of a monologue discussion at the beginning of the stream here saying how I feel like trying to take down the professor the sorcerer bloke is going to be like is key I think we had a good strategy yesterday but we need to put our disposable troops forward more so that they're taking the brunt of the attacks. Um, I think that's probably going to put us in good stead here. So, um, but anyway, let's let's see what we can do. We've got two extra troops. Uh, sorry, one extra troop, and we've upgraded one to a paladin. So, um, yeah, let's see what we can do. Hopefully, my archers can get um, relatively close. So, I'm just going to put my main character sort of like in here. And we're just going to get them all to charge and wait. And then advance our other troops forward as well. So yeah, the main thing we need to do here is take out the wizards and take out the um, the main sorcerer bloke as well. Going to be pretty crucial. It's Magus, not Gyro. I thought it was Professor Gyro. I couldn't think of his name a minute ago, but yeah. All right, so we don't need to worry about that attack. It's not going to do anything to us at this moment in time. All right, so... We will attack the knight. Get rid of these guys here. These guys going to go over this one. Mika with a nine-month resub. Hello, guys. I hope that everyone's doing well. Nine-month streak. Three months to go for that year. Indeed, indeed. Mika, thank you very much, man. Your support is uh, just absolutely phenomenal at the minute. Couldn't, uh, couldn't wish for uh, better support on the stream at the moment. So thank you, thank you, buddy. Hope you're well. And, uh, Deathwish, what's going on? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're well. Just wait. Charge all their attacks up. And uh, see what they're going to do in retaliation here. Reckon Archer, that's for sure. Resub alert come on the screen as well. Alright, let's give my paladin a go. off this side. Then we'll bring and K 
could take that out, but I think I'm going to wait instead. Doing pretty well, Mika. Good to hear, buddy. Good to hear. we will settle back into your apartment again. I know you went back yesterday, but it takes a bit of uh, time to settle into apartments, doesn't it? No worries, don't worry. You take your time, buddy. You take as much time as you want. There is no rush here. I'm going to have to move everyone across there from that attack. Oh, jeez, Velvet's dead. That's not good. All right, let's get rid of both of those for now. And both of those. Okay, next. Let's move Minos over here. And um, we'll get rid of those guys. Now, the problem is I don't have any, have any archers to get like long-range attacks in on uh, We didn't protect. It's not good. That was not good at all. Minos will charge. I don't think that's the right thing to do. I think I've messed this fight up now. I'm honest. Minos might we might lose Minos here. Yeah. And yeah, we messed this up big time. Right, it was a good hit. Where the catapult? This catapult does, does quite a bit of damage. Alright, let's see what happens here though. Fiend is probably going to die. The hands of Magus. Yep. <sighs> wow. So I upgraded that dude, and uh, he really didn't do a lot, did he? Oh, I think this is battle over. Hmm, maybe not.
No, it's impossible! I cannot lose, not now! Oh, so we don't actually have to, uh, yeah. Alright, so I was right. I, I sort of, I was right when I said we don't necessarily need to concentrate on taking all the troops out, we just need to take out Magus. So, uh, yeah, we won. Somehow. With two, we was on the brink, but we won. You're trapped like a rat that stinks of Cors Corsican cheese. Do not think you can fool me with your obscure cheese references. Yeah, I can imagine like, after being away for so long, Mika, it's nice to actually like be like there with other people and interact with other people quickly after him. I know I was the same when I went down to the office like the other day. I went to the office for like the first time in like nearly two years, and it was just so nice to like see people and talk to real people in a work environment. He must not be allowed to flee. We need to hurry. He's going to get too far ahead. Pursue him! Quickly now! Off we go then. Mate, just left this way. Let's catch him quick. Uh, Maybe don't run off. Where exactly are we? We followed Magus all the way here? I believe this is a very ancient site, buried deep beneath Demonia Castle. What was this place used for, Minus? I... I do not know. I have never laid eyes on it, nor was I even aware if it, it existed. Nito! Another mysterious locale to explore. Not a single inhabitant survived. I'll stay in case the Magus tries to flee. Right. Why did Fina like run off though? That wasn't particularly good, was it? Gah! Minus! This cannot be. What are all these demons doing here? They doing tests on demons. Looks like an ancient magic machine. Looks like ancient magic materia. That uh, machine. So I'm thinking Final Fantasy. Wait, could it be that Magi created demons? What an intriguing discovery! I would have never theorized. No, that's impossible. Demons created by humans. On the contrary, Minus, it is possible. If my working theory is correct, things have come full circle. Humans created demons during the Meiji era, only to destroy them in the Great War. What a waste. Solid snail. Fina, please tell me she's mistaken. Uh, rip. That means I too. I'm naught but a, a creature molded by human hands. Hardly even a living thing. No, that's not true. Minus, you're not merely some creature. You're a Minus, son of King Arthas, commander in chief of the Demonian army, heir to the throne of Demonia itself. And you're also our friend. Still, my people has been annihilated by the Empire. My son has been tainted by a desire for vengeance. And now this? Ah! Maybe demons were created by the Magi. So what? That does nothing to change who you are. Why must you always look back? You cannot chain yourself to the past, tragic as it may be. What good does it do to dwell on something you can't change? All that matters is this moment and what we'll do in the next. Most importantly, you're not alone. Kuro, Fia, Fina. And I'm here too. We're all standing by you. I understand your words, Velvet. 
Indeed, I would rather put the past aside and focus on the future, just as my father showed me. And yet... I STILL HAVE HOPE! You say you are powerless to alter the past. I used to believe the same. But our travels through time have proved the opposite. So how can I be content to do nothing? How can I accept reality in, our, in its current form? The problem is, we still don't know if we, ha we, we do have free will. What if the changes we make to the timeline are pred predestined as well? I don't believe in fate or predestination. This power we have to journey through time. I did not know what to make of it before, but now I understand. It has allowed us to mend reality, to change our world for the better. And who's to decide what is better for the world, hmm? You? Me? The four of us? Who are we to make that choice for the people whose lives we're appending into the, in the process? And for every life saved, how many others does it destroy? How can we possibly deal with the collateral effects of thousands of years of history? I don't think time travel allows you to change things. The past is what it is. We can't just play gods. Your rationale makes little sense. If we possess the power, why refrain from using it? I can't stand it when they argue. Can't they just agree to disagree? How about you, Kuro? You think we should change time willy-nilly? Hmm, I don't think so personally. Your parents are test now in your essay and need to find the articles that you are used to it. Oh, you was talking about that the other day, weren't you, Mika? Did you, um, was you not able to find anything in like your, um, your browsing history or anything like that? It's a shame. I don't know, I don't think we should change time. What can we do by changing time though? That's the thing. I mean, it'd have interesting effects, wouldn't it? But then on the flip side of that, you change too much of, uh, you change too much of the past, then in theory, thing, you know, we, we may cease to exist. Um. All right, I'll go guess. For sure, it's tempting. But Velva has a point. We should be careful with the con careful of the consequences. All right. So, let's see if we can't find Magus. Magus, Magus. So you were following me. Oh my god, what is this? Dance Dance Revolution or something? <laughs> god. Give it up, Magus. You're finished. I must admit, I underestimated you. I thought only Colonel Dolkin could interfere with my plans. You slaughtered my people. I shall never forgive you. Your people? Oh, you mean the critters we call demons? Rest assured, once I am finally rid of you, I shall reactivate those ancient magic machines. And with them, I'll build an army of demons, one that will be at my back beck and call. You won't get away with this. We shall see. Oh my god. See how good I was at Guitar Hero. Well, obviously not very good. Didn't see this coming, to be honest.
Ah, uh, my fingers are all over the place. I'm rubbish at this. <laughs> Alright, we're still in green somehow. <laughs> I use I love Riven games. I think we won. Audio surf. I don't think I've heard of um I've heard of audio surf. I've still got um I've still got one of my um I've still got one of my guitar hero guitars tucked away somewhere. Maybe we should do a guitar hero stream. I've also got uh, as well, I've got my I got the the DJ hero version as well. Which um, I've still got tucked away somewhere. Maybe we'll uh, dig the PS3 out one day once now that we've got a capture card and um, just have a bit of fun or something with uh, some of those games. That'd be pretty cool. I'd love to do that. My army! My demons! I want to play that game again, though. I want to play that little mini game again. It's a shame with like, this game you can't just like pick and choose certain mini games to play. I have avenged my people. Though I could not save them. Minus. I am fine. I thought on what you've said, Velvet. I believe you're right, after all. Thank you for your help, dear friends. Was he actually fine, or just holding back the tears? I feel bad for Minus, Kuro. He didn't deserve all that. Then again, who would? Is this the final part of the key? It sure is. The Fragment of Earth. All right. You got Major's key. It was hidden beneath his robes. What does it open? Hmm. All right, so we have all of the parts now of the key, uh, of the key, yeah, the key. So, um, it's Dolkin gone. Where did Dolkin go, I wonder? Oh, there he is. There you have it. This is where our paths diverge. Oh, thanks for everything, Galkin. We could never have beaten mages without you. Miss Fina is quite right. Give me for doubting you. I am honored to have fought by your side, Colonel. Thank you. But you're forgetting the true hero, Kuro. Without his tactical mind, we would never defeated mages and his forces. I could swear he's blushing. Now, to draw up my report for the Emperor! Here's hoping I don't get executed for this. Executed? You were only following orders? Do you think me so naive? One of those days you will have to tell me how you came about that Imperial Medal. We... No need to apologize, I knew the risks full well, and I am glad to have aided you. 
Goodbye, my friends. He knew all along, but he still... He's a true hero. Let us hope all goes well for him. Once again, we altered history. For the better this time, at least I hope so. So now I feel like I watch a new game when you stream Everland 2. I believe it's just just that because I haven't paid attention. But to be fair though, this the the whole game is like um, an amalgamation of kind of like lots of different games, Mika. So I can I can wholeheartedly understand. I mean, we've just in the the half an hour almost that we've played tonight, we've played like two different games. We've played like an RPG tactics, and then we've played like a a rhythm based game. So. I can totally see where you're coming from and why you would take that stance, definitely. Welcome to the command tent. Uh, I'm sure I need any, but sure, let's upgrade a soldier. Why not? <laughs> we got points, why not spend them? I guess we could replay these if we wanted. And do like the extra battles, but... We really don't need to. So let's go to the uh, the portal. Now this is, I guess, this is the moment of truth. Um, is this um, is this person here like going to double cross us or what? Now that we have the key, because I'm still a bit skeptical about her uh, this uh, this character's intentions, but I guess we'll find out now. Congratulations, you have the fragments of Earth. Maybe this is this unlikely alliance between humans and demons will change history. There is so much pain to erase. What I what am I myself? A thing, a thing born of a hu of a human and a demon. I'm Cress. That's what counts. You have gathered the five fragments of the magic key. Come back to me. We need to activate it to remove the weapon from the fabric of time. All right. What are we thinking, boys and girls? Do we think it's um do we think she's legitimate? Time to find out. Congratulations! I knew you could gather the five fragments of the magic key. I saw it in a dream. Thank you, Caress. I don't know what we would have done without you. Well, because she didn't do anything. Soon this nasty weapon will be nothing but a bad memory. I can't wait to see my village and my dad again. That won't change much for me. I am happy for you, Miss Fina. Kuro, are you sure you want to do that? We can't predict what will happen. Of course not, Velvet. But we've already talked this over. What was the point of going through so much only to turn back now? I guess if too late to change our minds. Let us recreate the key. Evil smile incoming. Maybe not. All right, things are happening. Things be happening.
Right, so I guess this is how everything's changing now that um, we've taken out the weapon. Kuro! It worked! The weapon has disappeared! Thank you. You need to thank us, Chris. We should be thanking you. Thanks to you, my power is back! I told you, it was so obvious. The double cross. Caress? What are you doing? I was born with great powers. Sorry, I have not mastered them yet. Because of that, I have been chased and finally captured. The one who did this, he wanted to weaken me and to steal my powers. Professor Gyro. It's him. So it was you, the girl he captured that he used to create the weapon. It was me. And now that the weapon has disappeared from the timeline, you have your powers back. Yes, I think so. I would ask you just one question, Chris. How did you manage to escape from Professor Gyro? I did not know the man, but I certainly heard of him in my era. No one ever left his laboratory to tell the tale. One day, when I was weakened, he released his control. It lasted only a few moments. I used the last bit of my strength left in me. I opened a portal, a portal through time, and I sent him straight into it. I fled the laboratory, but the Empire continued chasing me. That's when Kuro and Fino came to my aid. Well, what were the chances? It seems you and Kuro are linked together in some way. That's exactly what I was thinking. The Guardian. I found it! The Guardian? Yes. I have to go. If I have more time, you could, have, you could have come with me. Together, we could have destroyed time itself. Destroy time? What What are you saying, Caress? I'm sorry. It was my destiny. I have to go. I have to wake the Guardian. And I must destroy it. Farewell. Right, so maybe she didn't double cross us, but um, certainly something weird's going on. She she left us. Hmm. I wonder what or who the guardian could be. That's not really our concern, Velvet. Remember when she mentioned destroying time? Perhaps it was only in jest. Hard to imagine she was joking, Minas. She seemed pretty deadpan. Come on! Who would joke about something like that? Wherever she's gone off to, we've got to catch her. That mention of a guardian has me intrigued. Let's see what this is all about. Right, so when am I meant to find this guardian then? How foolish of me to think all this adventure was behind us. Alright. So. we got to find a guardian. Who is the guardian? Where is the Guardian? Give me the money. Need the money, 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 money. Uh, why did that sound like a dinosaur? Kuro! What the heck was that sound? I'd rather not know, honestly. Look at that! Oh boy, alright, so I know where that is. That was under the sea. We saw that before when we were flying around on the world map. I did wonder what it was. Oh boy. Somebody, uh... How many think final boss time? Some flying fish thing with stone armor? Reminds me a bit of the final boss from uh, Kirby 64, actually, like a giant floating thing with some wings and bits and pieces. Gah! What's that thing? 
I'd wager that that's the infamous Guardian. Okay, now I seriously don't want to know more. Do you believe Caress can dispatch this giant fiend? He's a big one, all right. But we have to prevent Caress from destroying time. If the only way is to get on that Guardian's bad side, let's get over there. Oh, let's get over with. Let's get it over with. Sorry, get it over with. All right, so where is the Guardian? There he is. Kuro! I can't see much from here. We've got to get even closer if we want to find Caress. I don't know if that's such a good idea, Fina. There looks to be some some temporal anomalies near the that Guardian. Another reason to stay away, don't you think? With all due respect, Miss Velvet, what difference is one more reckless move on our part? Yes, I see your point. Well, Kuro. Well, Kuro should make the final call. Shall we go? All right, let's go. I think I would have been safer with the pirates after all. Oh, I know this tune. This is a uh, stream I watch. She uses this as a resub song. Doesn't look like I could take out those guys then, so. And we regen our health. It's like that save spots as well, so. I love Kuro's goggles. those uh, invisibility frames. quickly on this section then. So how am I meant to get up here? I think there was like a bit of a, I think that was a bit of a glitch actually, to be fair. I think the, the level up kind of 
screwed me over. For some reason it took me um, off my little flying thing. And it shouldn't have done. Which is kind of weird. Batman game on the Game Boy. It reminds me of like a lot of games from like the um, Super Nintendo Mega Drive kind of era. Or the Genesis for Americans. It wasn't called the Mega Drive, was it? There was a lot of like these sort of like side scrolling games around at the time. That wind is like brutal. It's like it's really hard to get through the wind. Reminds me of like Snake on my old Nokia phone. Then again. Man, that's tough. Trying to deal with like three of these things is just brutal. Yikes. Got rid of them all, but then we couldn't make it through. Dead. 
And you really have to, like, get rid of these things, like, really... So I just got rid of them all, but like I'm so low on health when they like get to this bit now. I just like got no freaking response to it. What's going on, Adam? Hope you well. I kind of want uh, one of the 90s turbo pads right now. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. I'm already down to 14 health, which is no good. Having a good day, Atom? Oh, you know what? I've completely forgotten about maybe using my specials. Oh, that really did anything. Still trying to fix your B mod. Jeez. That's how we get rid of them. Easy. Yay, we made a safe pop. Look at them. They look like little, like, mines of some description. They like the look of them.
Ah, oh, I was so close to the safe spot. Rush the safe spot. <laughs> Over nine thousand. Sixth health. Yeah. Oh, of course. Feels a little bit worse than uh, the old Celeste winds, though, if I'm honest, because um, a lot of the time with the winds in Celeste, you're not you're not like pressured against like another set of spikes, so you have that sort of working for you, but we're through. We got this. We reached level twenty six. Yeah, there's a bug. So if you level up with this, if you level up while you're on the machine, it takes you off the machine and then it's, um, yeah, you can't continue because you need the machine to fly. It's a bit weird. It's going on, Iron. Thank you very much for the posture chip, buddy. Hope you're well, buddy. Welcome, up. So I realised I just used the word buddy too many times there. Yes, it's a very annoying book, Minka. Especially like being this sort of game, you kind of like the whole point of the game is like level your characters up and like advance levels. I mean, you could obviously like, stop yourself from leveling up if you wanted, but yeah, it kind of defeats the object of the game. Oh. 
Are we at the end yet? He wants to come with me. I get killed. <laughs> I think we found another bug. What was that? I think we're losing altitude. You are not mistaken. This creature is descending. It's going to crash. Kuro, Fina, Minas, Velvet. What are you doing here? We came, well, we came to stop you from destroying time. Sorry, Cress, but we can't let you do this. No, you don't understand. It must be done. In any case, there is no stopping it now. I've destroyed the Guardian's heart. He will crash, thus granting me access to the project. The project? What kind of project? You are not aware? Yet you've travelled to the Magi era, have you not? I must act quickly, lest Professor Gyro prevent me from destroying the project. Goodbye. Professor Gyro? But he's dead, isn't he? Apparently not. Look, the Guardian is falling. So what actually is this thing? Is it like the Guardian of Time or something? And she's just destroyed the Guardian of Time. Oh wow. Isn't that like on the Demon's Forest? Alright, it's landed on uh, Professor Jaro's lab. Look, over there! Could that be the anomaly? How is that possible? Was it created by the crash of the Guardian? I saw an explosion when it crashed. It is probably where Caress was talking about. Access to the project? It would be inside the anomaly. If that's true, we need to get there right now. We need to prevent Caress from destroying time. I'm counting on you, Kuro. Why are you counting on me? We're all in this together. You should be helping me out. Oh, boy. Not this again. Hmm. This definitely wasn't here last time we came this way. I'd swear it on my favorite ancient tome. Considering how much we've altered the timeline, I confess I no longer have a clue. Anyway, that symbol is just like the one on the Stone of Time. Indeed. A portal! Kuro, quick! I still don't get why Caress is doing all this, but we have to stop her either way. Solid Snail, remember that Caress possesses weapons power. I don't believe we shall dis dissuade her without a di direct confrontation. Be prepared to fight. Surely Cress has a reason, her reasons to do what she's doing, don't you think, Kuro? Perhaps we'd be better off staying out of it. Uh, or perhaps not. Because uh, she destroys time, then we're all screwed, right? What's truly an oddity, this? It almost seems to contain the entire universe. No, not the universe. Time itself. Caress, where are we? In the heart of the anomaly, where the Magi hid their great project. So this is the project, then. But why are you so keen to destroy it? The Meiji wished to prevent the end of time, so they undertook the project in order to curve time. Curve time? Destroying the project will most probably destroy time, but if there is even a miscalcul miscalcul chance that... Sorry. If there is even a miscule, mis minuscule chance that th that doesn't come to pass, so it must be done. There's no other way. You're wrong, Chris. There's always another way. Well, if you feel so strongly. 
Bina! She vanished. Velvet? No. Solid Snell, you have to fight. Oh, one on one. Oh, Kuro. I would have hoped you, at least, would understand me. What? But I'm directly connected to the project. Why am I unable to erase you? Just who are you, anyway? Somebody who doesn't talk. Upgrading powers. Curious power has awakened. You can now slow time itself. I get it now. Our fate was not to understand one another, but rather to fight one another. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I think what I gotta do is get these pillars off, then slow time. That may be giving me more time to attack. Okay. Okay, so I think uh, I think I can see what I need to do then this time. Oh, I've got to go back here every time. That sucks. I wonder if I could like go and upgrade my power before I go into this fight. Blow it now, knock. No! <laughs> I blew it. I would love to, like, know what all these acronyms stand for, Atom. I get some of them. So we got DBUFO, so I guess that's death by unidentified flying object. DBSB. I don't know what the SB is. Death by Bug, I get that one. And DBCBB, what's that? Death by Keras, big boss fight? <laughs> I'll spike ball. All right.
It reminds me of like a fairground ride. There's like a fairground ride that, that this reminds me of where it's kind of like a, a spinning one and it kind of like spins on like two different directions. Alright. Why well, do I get the impression she's going to have like a second form or something and we're going to have to do even more here to kill her? Oh dear god. Man, this is, uh, this is not, uh, very easy. Oh, I gotta do the whole thing again? Oh, you know what, though? I didn't think again to, um, I never thought there either, did I? I didn't think to use my, um, freeze time ability again. I'm sure you could probably cheese this, you know, if you like stayed. You could like stay in the middle of the moving area. Dead. Man, I it's I I find that really rough. That um... all right. So let's do this. So I can't upgrade my... I can't upgrade my own power then. Welcome back, Mika. Got some potions, so we got some. We can we've got like one and a half times health, which we can now use. I want to try and get through like this first phase, though, like without using any potions or anything. 
It's not too difficult. I just need to like stay out of the way of the triangle things. Shouldn't, I went into like full blown like button mashing mode to try and get as many hits in as I could and it probably wasn't like the wisest of things because then I wasn't prepared for like move into the next thing. But yeah, like I said, I really don't want to use my um I really don't want to use any of my things in these the potions in this early stage. Freaking robots got him away and stopped me from like finishing her off. Hate to see it. Blame it on the robots. get my freaking time no the others are gone death wish she banished the others from um from the fight so it's literally just me and hers i can't use any of the other powers unfortunately So, let's keep an eye on health here. Go 
know what, I'm going to have to use... that was it you jerk know she's going to have a third form. Oh my goodness, what is this? Um, excuse me? Yeah, it's, um, you need a lot of concentration for uh, Obra Dinn, Mika, definitely. The game's been pretty lenient up until this point, like with save spots and things. I just find it a bit rough that like there's no save spots like this this boss fight. Like to going for you have to do each stage. You have to do each stage in one go. Without dying. Four stages to the boss battle. Oh man.
lot of jack. I gotta pop. Gonna do that stupid attack. this we can do it come on knock we just need to be i think we just need to we need to nail the first this first part better i think and we need to just like try and keep more health if we can keep more health over the first two fights then i think game you thought was cozy until you get to the boss battle and it gets real.
Man, that was almost a damageless section. Alright, I'm going to take the green potion. doing so well my health was in such a good spot and then yikes he did his main attack or she did her main attack sorry much damageless on that section. That's pretty rough that um, she was like spawning right on top of me there.
I'll use the red one. It's all good. It's all good. Every attempt is... Um, we are uh, getting that little bit better. The first, I'm not too worried anymore about the, like, the first two phases of the fight. It's mainly like that final fight, the final phase now, where I'm... Particularly great. I just want to check something. I can't use um, any health before, like, the third form, I don't think. Can I buy more than one red potion? I don't think I can. can't buy more than one the 100% potions which is a little bit annoying so that would have helped greatly Thank <laughs> you. 
Man, robot. Thanks, Mika. There's no point carrying on that because I wasted too much health on like the first segment. This is like the segment where I need to really kind of focus because there's no way to regain any health. It's the only part of the fight where I can't naturally regain any health. Form halfway.
All right. So I made a big mistake there and that was in like the beginning of the fight. I used my um, time power but she was facing the wrong way. She was over on the left hand side of the screen and I couldn't attack her because I can't switch the way Kuro is facing. So I kind of like wasted that. Alright, I'm going to go and grab uh, a drink. So just out of the drink. So let me go grab a drink. And then we will have uh, another attempt. So, um, all right, Nick, no worries. Thanks for hanging, buddy. Appreciate it. I'm just going to go have a drink and we'll have another attempt. So, uh, stay tuned, guys, and I'll be right back. All right. Let's do this. We are tantalizingly close. We just need to. I think we just need to, like, brush up a little bit more on third form. Sorry, I've got them into my mouth now as well. So, I apologize. I'm just trying for as long as I can to keep hold of these potions. I just got to really concentrate on like the first and second phase of the fight because I really need to like try and do it deathless. Not deathless, but damageless.
Thanks for the uh, encouragement, DW. Alright, concentrate on this bit now. If I can get to the end of this fight with just using green again. in such an awkward position such an awkward position having a hard time now like hitting Kuro's ability. Oh, she's still alive man.
Uh, we're not in good position, are we? can't do anything like with those those little freaking things man you cannot get away from them when those like lasers and everything comes out they're really hard to deal with
<sighs> Come on. I thought I'd, um, to be fair though, that time I thought I'd um, defeated the top, the top segment of it before I actually had. So I got caught out a little bit. The fact that um, it was still firing the the ships at me. Do you have enough for me to use one to beat this boss? <laughs> um, I don't know, I'm guessing you're going to have somewhere in the region of 40,226. I didn't want to use the potion, it was pointless, I think. Oh, I was about 200, 200 and, uh, 228 off. I'm close, but I'm just not close enough. I don't know the fact, the fact like them pillars are still deadly when they're all sort of, when you deactivate them all. Could have given like a little bit of a uh, leeway on that. Garbage percent. Nothing like um, the computer spawning the enemy right on top of you and not giving you an actual, actual chance.
Mit dem Zahn. I think like, I almost think it's taking more time there and like killing, trying to kill the bots is a better game plan than just like rushing. got through that without even freaking using any of my potions that was yeah okay okay come on i kind of like felt like i had everything under control in that phase i like i was controlling like the little things which i think feel have been like screwing me over this whole like third phase of the fight
Alright. Second phase. Full health. That was... It may have taken longer, but that was a much safer and safer way to do that, I feel. That wasn't too bad. I'm going to use it. All right. Come on, knock. in hell. Kuro, I never wished to fight you. And I didn't think you ever wanted this either. Reality is breaking apart. I think we've gone too far. I can no longer see the past or the future. We have reached the end of time. So what will happen now? The project has been damaged by our fight. Will it be enough to stop the cycle of time? If not, everything will start over. The same times, the same events, the same struggles, the same fate for all. For both of us too. My power is fading. I will disappear, Kuro. And it frightens me. Maybe one day, we'll find each other again. And if only fate remains... Together, we will change this world.
I'll wait for you, G. G died. Also, I noticed before, and I just deviate slightly, there's like a Game Boy on the floor and a Pokeball, as well as some other stuff. Kuro still hasn't returned. He'll be back. Miss Fina, it's been several days. We cannot wait any longer. What are you suggesting, Minas? Huh? Just leave without him? I... Minos is right, Fina. We cannot stay here. I don't know what time or what world lies ahead, but we have to go. Well then, go! Just leave without me. I'm not going anywhere without Kuro. Miss Fina. Solid Snail is most assuredly... There's no point, Minos. She's made up her mind. We need to respect that. We shall await you beyond the portal, Miss Fina. Let's go then. Kuro, where are you? So, are we sort of like lost in time now? Kuro? Man, how long is she going to wait? <laughs> One eternity later. <laughs> a long time later. So much longer later that the old narrator has passed and a new one has taken over. <laughs> I remember that one. That was a good one as well. Oh man. This game though. I'm quite, I'm quite sad in a way that the game is over because... Man, this game was just like something else. And I think like you said yesterday, Deathwish, on the stream yesterday, that um, you know, looking at this game on the store page probably does not do it justice. You really have to kind of like see the game uh, to appreciate like what a masterpiece it is. It really is a masterpiece. I've never played anything like this in my life at all. There's so many like mini games so many game references everything like just like thrown in here and it just makes it such a fantastic experience whether or not you've like played the original games or not just to like play this game and see all of those little tiny references is just absolutely fantastic and to see how much they kind of like took the original game and then evolved this one further was just outstanding you know, the original game we finished in like two hours. I think this has taken us like the best part of 20 hours now for the second one. So, um, yeah, like really thoroughly enjoyed this one. Not just games, though, Death was just like classic references as well. There's so many other things like outside of game lore that's like included in this game. Vikings and trolls, they're sort of living in harmony now. 
For me, it's a Mario. It's like the classic sort of Super Nintendo, um, sort of like end of an RPG. They kind of like go to all the areas and you kind of like see um, just like the the areas and a lot of the characters you met along the game. So again, just like that final, like kind of paying homage to um, everything here. Yeah, definitely. I don't know if you saw the original, but like the the way the original like was sort of like you started with the original, you kind of like started off in like the Game Boy and as you found chests and things, like the whole game just kept evolving. Didn't quite it didn't like use like the time travel mechanism that the second one did but it was still really cool like each like step and each chest and thing that you did in the original you kind of like evolved the game so so uh, a little bit more but um yeah that's really really cool i'm so so glad i played it again and um Massive shout out as well to uh, yeah definitely the game, the name of the game makes perfect sense. Massive shout out to Conclan for um, donating this game, uh, both the games actually originally donated both the games, um, which enabled us to get the legendary edition, which we've um, played both of them via. Um, but yeah, I definitely I definitely be up for playing like a third if they're uh, I I don't know if they are developing. I'll have to like, do some more research. The thing is, though, there's still so much more in both of these games that, like, there's left to do. Because like, there's, like, a lot of um, side quests and things I didn't even cover. Or I didn't finish off. There's all the cards and different bits and pieces in both of the games. We haven't, like, finished, like, either of, like, the card games off. So, um, yeah, there is um, still quite a lot more to do in this if I kind of want, like, want to drag it out. And, um, yeah, there's, like, the stars as well, Deathwish. And got, like, 14 of 30 stars. I think we've only got like a third of the cards. So, um, yeah, it's quite mad, really. I say I kind of wish there was like an option just to play, like, select the mini games, like, outside of the game and, like, play them individually. Okay, so we did return to Fina then. Oh, you're awake. Oh wait, we've gone back to the beginning. Are you feeling better? My father found you passed out deep in the forest. You don't remember anything? Not even your name? Maybe you should go in the forest. It could help with your memory. Oh, and my name is Fina. I... I hope you remember everything quickly. And then we go full circle. So we uh, we only finished this to seventy five percent then, by the looks of it. Which is pretty cool. I wonder if, like, almost like Celeste. I wonder if, like, the more. I wonder if you get like a higher percentage. Is like there's more in the scene. Because obviously, Minos isn't included in this scene. I assume Minos would be on the other towel if we got like um, a high enough percentage possibly for him to be in the scene. But there we go, guys. That brings us to the end of our um, Evo Land playthrough. 
and we looks like we clocked in about 19 hours um, in total. I don't know if that takes into account all the extra replay and stuff um, from the deaths and bits and pieces, but um, yeah, there we go, guys. Evoland is done. Thanks once again to Conclan for the donation of this game. It's greatly appreciated. So next week, that means we'll be starting a brand new Let's Play. So um, we'll be... Uh, looking over the games over the next week or so and deciding what we are going to play next and uh, that let's play will start on wednesday a week wednesday on the what will that be it'll be the 10th 11th 12th 13th i think of november uh, october sorry not november october so 13th of october we'll be starting the next let's play so um make sure you check out the schedules page on the channel and um see what i decide to schedule later on this week or beginning of next saturday night we're back with this another stream on saturday night and it will be a portal to community chambers live stream so uh, make sure you tune in for that will be heading back into the queue and trying to clear some more off uh hopefully we won't uh come across any maps straight after the uh, ascension from sheepdog that uh, we're going to bang our head over and um take a stream or two to complete but uh, again guys as always thank you very much for tuning in and supporting me through this playthrough and i look forward to seeing you in the next and until then guys i've been knock you've been awesome and take care stay safe and happy gaming